So guys, once again, welcome to my channel, Agriculture World Happiness. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you the proper maize seed spacing and the planting depths. So this simply means we are going to be talking about the recommended uh, maize seed spacing between the rows and also the recommended seed spacing between plant to plant but in that same row or in the rows such that you are able to get a better result high quality maize and also um, big cobs and maize which grows the pure eye uh, in the pure color for example here you can see it's real green this all the um, all these are the advantages when you plant using uh, the recommended seed spacing and also maize growing at the same height so if you're new to this channel you make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you have subscribed make sure you turn on your notification bell such that you don't miss on any other video and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for coming and thank you for always liking my videos i really can't take this for granted because we know liking the video makes the videos to move far all the videos to reach far such that also some other people can also get a chance to learn some few things and also we can get to interact so that is um the video so now let's look at um the planting space and talking about the planting space there are some factors which makes you to choose which one is the right spacing for you depending on those factors because we know it's not only one at least we have got more than two uh, spacings which are recommended so that's why i tell you there are always factors which will make you to choose which one you can use one of the factors is uh, the purpose that you are planting your maize in talking about the purpose we are talking about if you are going to use or if you are growing the maize for grains or you are growing the maize for fodder talking about the fodder it means you are growing the maize for uh feeding your animals so that is the fodder and also the other factor is um what method are you going to use for example for planting your maize in talking about the planting methods we have got mechanized planting method uh method and also using the local tool or using the hands that is another method so all those factors you consider and also we consider the variety of the maize that we are going to be planting and not only those ones we also consider the fertility of the soil so all the above factors make someone to choose which one is the right spacing to use in planting the maize so now let's look at the raw spacing what is the recommended raw spacing for a maize or when you are going to be planting your maize but before that i told you we are going to be considering um if we are planting it for the fodder or we are planting it for the grains but now let's first start with um the spacing the raw spacing of the grains and i said grains means you are just growing your maize uh just for uh what for grains and for fodder means you are planting it for feeding your animals so the recommended spacing between the rows for the grain maize it has to be at least from 70 centimeters to 90 centimeters and uh, as i said if you are going to be using the local tool or you are going to be using your hands you will have to get a measurement which looks like this or a tape measure such that you can measure the correct spacing such that you'll pull your rope because we know using the hose means we are going to be using the rope so this one is um, what we always recommend people to use or you can use the tape measure local even people normally use their arms but um measuring here you can see if i measure from here up to here this means 70 centimeters so this is supposed to be the spacing like from here to here this is 70 so this is supposed to be 
the spacing. And this is the exact spacing that we used here for planting our maize here. However much I said this is for the fodder, but we also used 70 by 10. So that is how the spacing has to be. But now, that one was for the grains. At least you measure, you make sure it is from 70 to 90 centimeters. That is from one row to another row. And then talking about um, the fodder, what must be the spacing between the fodder? All these ones, you can also mean to make it uh, between, or you can also mean to make it 70 by 10, or you can mean to make it 70 by 15. So this is the same thing, depending on how you planted and what you used for planting. So as I said, ours is fodder, and we used machine for planting, and because we used the machine for also weeding, so we decided to make it 70 by 10 centimeters. So that is planting for the fodder. But now, talking about, um, that one was about the rows. What is the recommended between the row to row? So that one we are finished. Then let's look at um, the plant spacing. The plant spacing means from one plant to another plant, but within the same row. So that is what we call about what we call uh, the plant spacing. And talking about the plant spacing, I said we consider the purpose why we are planting the maize. And the purpose means it means you have to ask yourself: Are you planting it for grains, or you are planting it for fodder? So now, if you are planting it for grains, so it makes sure the spacing from one plant to another plant is at least from 20 centimeter to 25 centimeter that's if you are planting it for grains so for example here i was here we measured um it is uh, 70 by 10 because it is for fodder and we also considered the fertility of our soil that's why we made it a little bit um small and closer because the soil is fertile but if your soil is not fertile you can mean to make it by 70 over 20, 25. So that is the spacing of the grains. But now, talking about the fodder, you can, we always make sure from plant to plant, but in the same row, we make sure it is at least from 10 up to 20 centimeters. So that is the spacing of um, the maize. And this spacing will give you high quality maize cob, and also it will give you high quality fodder at the same time. So that is uh, talking about the maize spacing. So now let's look at the planting depth. And talking about the planting depth, this means how deep inside the soil you must uh, drop your, uh, your seed. And it means the seed doesn't need to be so deep into the soil and not too shallow, uh, close to the ground. So that is it. Because once it is too deep into the soil, your maize seed may uh, fail to germinate in time. And also at the same time, it may not even germinate. So that is like you're burying it, but that's not how it has to be. There is recommended um, depth that we always use whenever we are planting our maize seed. Even when we're using the machine, we always have got our recommended depth. So now, talking about the maize um, planting depth, planting depth is influenced by one, the, uh, the moisture, and the second one, it is also influenced by the type of the soil, which means we have got the heavy soil, and then we have got the lighter soils. The lighter soils, um, we have the soils like um, the sandy soil. Sandy soil is a lighter soil, which means in a lighter soil, you can go, you can plant your maize seed at least from five to seven centimeters deep the soil because it will easily germinate being lighter. And then talking about the heavy soils. Heavy soils, we have got soils like the clay. We have got loam soil. So these are the heavy soils, which means in heavy soils, you make sure you plant it at least from um, four centimeter 
at least from four centimeter up to uh, five centimeter deep because in heavy soils you know something heavy it means when you put it so deep in clay soil there is high chance your maize may not even germinate or it can germinate but it germinates very weak so all these factors contributes to the maize spacing or it makes someone to choose which spacing and which depths to use so therefore it's very very vital so it means you don't need to choose the one which is wrong for your uh, side because for example when i have the side which is having heavy soil and i choose the other one and then plant it so deep in the soil i will see that i'm going to be having gaps in the soil and those gaps in the uh, let me say gaps in the in the field in those gaps in the field are uh, just because of what they are because i planted my maize too deep and then some of them did not germinate or if they germinated they germinated very weak and then therefore they could not catch up with the rest of the the plants so guys we have come to the end of our video so before you end the video you make sure you give a like to the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel agriculture wild happiness and after subscribing make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you get notified the moment i upload a video because i always upload my videos two times a week that's wednesday and also sunday every week so you make sure you don't miss on any other video from agriculture world happiness so guys i beg to stop here i'll see you in the next video